Hello my beautiful co-creators, Lilu here from beautiful Maui over in Hawaii and I've been here for two three days. This is a wonderful place. Uh, as you know I've been hanging out actually in Hawaii for a month now. Lots of interviews, lots of work, but really so much in the flow that I've enjoyed and learned so much and as uh, Kimberly Jones was telling me in her latest reading that she offered to me from the UK she was saying you're really going through a lot right now but you know in a positive way and I think this is accessible to all of us you know our DNA upgrading and our heart opening up and the frequency of love coming in and of course Hawaii is a very special place but I'm very excited and hope I have uh, represented well and honored well Hawaii through the interviews I have been doing. There is a lot of exciting ones. I've done yesterday an interview with Dr. Jacob Lieberman on light, on love, on the vision and consciousness. Very powerful, like 15 minute video. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. I encourage you to see it. Uh, I am amazed by the synchronicities and the speed. Things seems to open up. I decided to cut my hair. Uh, I, I, it, was, it really feels like a renaissance. My feminine energy is coming in and a lot of understanding, a lot of um, flow and synchronicity. I'm working on my book, uh, the second book actually, and working on editing, the final, final editing. So it has required quite a lot of uh, uh, rounds but it's finally close to being ready and it's going to be called I have no money and I like it which is my journey straight after I lost my job and I like it and I think this is a very important moment because um, in 2009-2010 when I went through this I found then uh, you know my heart I found a true connection deep connection to my soul and that's very very important for me to put this book out especially right now because a lot of us are facing some things that are similar and we're confused and actually that bringing up something that I wanted to share with you because there are some confusion sometimes and I feel these moments of confusion that means it's not maybe quite the right time to make that decision or do something we have to be patient and that's another reason why I really encourage you to see Dr. Uh, Lieberman's uh, video that I'll be that I just posted online because he explains you know we just have to receive and be willing and open and and welcome all those things life knows better than we do it does and that's exciting that's exciting when we really start to trust life when we allow it to come and to show us all its magnificence when we really start to connect our heart to other people's heart and know that everything in our life is there for a reason. I'm really, really surprised on this journey to start seeing energy, to start seeing um, and, 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 and receiving some of this higher self, you know, divine light beings type of connection. I found even myself starting to write something that just came through and that really wanted to write down which was part of the acknowledgement of everything that we're going through right now and I'm probably going to share it in another video because I think we all need reaffirmation we need to validate each other on this journey we must do that I'm so grateful for Facebook because this is such a great way to connect this is the way I've connected to Helena that I met in Oahu, to then Kelly that I also met in Oahu, to so many people around the world. And then when we meet in person, it just feels like you already know that person for an eternity. It is so wonderful. It is so precious. And again, regarding confusion, if there is confusion, if it doesn't feel good, if you feel tear like apart, you know, for whatever reason, try to continue to see and go within that conversation and discover those moments of peacefulness. And when you have that peace within that conversation and you know you're closer to the decision you should be taking, there shouldn't be any decision that feel at unease or confused or hectic you know sometimes we do have to make decisions really fast and yet we do have time we must take the time we must even consider time differently that we have in the past and starting to have a new relationship with ourselves with time with others because that opens up a whole new level of interconnection of galacticness 
of juiciness. <laughs> and I really, really appreciate our connection so deeply. I look forward to meeting you in person whenever that will be. And uh, I'm really excited to be here in Maui. If you know anybody, let me know. I would love also to, to go to Molokai and Lanai. And then I'll be heading to the East Coast, interviewing Carolyn Miss in Chicago, then in Toronto, in Montreal, in Quebec, in Boston, in New York City, all that for the month of August. So if you're in that area, let me know. Send me an email, lilou at lilumase.com, to make suggestions or meetups and what have you. I have also them posted on Juicy Living Tour. It's been six months, dude, that dude, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's also six months and another six months to go so bring it on bring it on to the next level bring it on universe all the goodies all of it <laughs> and I know it's hard to just ask for the goodies but uh, you know life will present itself as it will and I'm grateful for it appreciated of it and truly uh, humbled by this process um, and this connection that is growing um, my heart being more connected than ever to all that is so I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon bye